What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and fellow YouTubers? All of you are bid to welcome to this very exciting video. You guys are going to see lots of new items, lots of new spoilers, I should say. So be warned right now. Um, no, not nothing that's going to be spoiler heavy as in my last video, but just the, the upcoming items. And I am talking about the new reputation gear, the new reputation items. Those are going to be spoilers in this video so you have been warned for that already anyway um as you guys can see on the background of my character i am at the drozana station and i am at the triple test server to be more accurately um I am here because the new items are uh, on the test server and I'm talking about obviously the new reputation, uh, the Lucari. So with that being said, uh, let me bring that up because I already um, leveled the Lucari uh, restoration initiative all the way to tier 5. And at the triple test server, everything is free and everything is like in 10 seconds. All of these projects that is going to usually it's going to take us 20 hours are going to be done in 10 seconds. So you can imagine this entire uh, reputation tree, uh, all these tiers, I should say, have um, been leveled up like crazy in no time. Um, so I do want to talk about this thing. Um, it is really awesome. I've seen like the statistics of this thing, the new um, items that are going to be displayed, uh, the new weapons, the new gear for uh, the space uh, ship. Uh, and in space combat and also the uh, there are a couple of new armaments uh, armaments that are going to be displayed the new uh, new weapon and and this one is a really awesome one because it's like I'm gonna talk a little bit more about this in the later stage but uh, just to sh just to uh, pique your interest um, this weapon has two functionalities one is to actually uh, damage your enemy and the second functionality of the same weapon is going to be it's going to heal you and nearby allies so that's going to be awesome a new armor uh, obviously and also new shielding now uh, i do want to say one thing because we are still testing all these uh, these items on the triple test server you guys are seeing these weird icons that doesn't mean anything it's just an icon that hasn't been updated so this are just for testing purposes anyway let's start talking about the uh, reputation up here from the lucari uh, rest restoration initiative now if you're going to level tier one all the way up you're going to get two passive abilities and they, these are going to be the viral weapon overload uh, target weapon offline on critical hit so when you land a critical strike on an enemy you additionally disable their weapons Kenakor once every 30 seconds um, so this is really awesome if you're going to crit on your enemy you're also going to disable his uh, his weapons that's going to be awesome um slippery target is going to be um the the next one or at least one of these two you can have uh, on active uh, at any moment so it is either the viral weapon overload so when you land a critical hit you're going to take the target uh, weapons offline or you can have a slippery target gain immunity to control effects for five seconds when you are at the target of a root hold disable or knock effect may occur once every 45 seconds if um if you're going to be in a long prong, uh, prong uh, no if you're going to be in a long engagement with your enemy i would definitely recommend this one the viral weapon overload so uh, you're also going to get disabled of their weapons is going to give you just a little bit of time where you can actually um heal yourself or do anything the enemy is not going to be able to attack you because their weapons are going to be offline for duration of 10 seconds that's going to be awesome now same thing goes uh, for a space and that is uh, at tier 2 so if you um, upgrade the lukai restoration initiative all the way to tier 2 you're going to get the viral engines overload so disable the engines on a critical hit so when you critically strike an enemy you additionally take their impulse engines offline 
and reduce their flight speed and turn rate can occur once every 13 seconds and it says right there in the next outgoing critical hit to the target is going to have engines of line for five seconds minus 50 percent in flight speed for 10 seconds and also minus 50 flight turn rate for 10 seconds and can trigger once every 30 seconds really awesome as um, as a hold your enemy in place type of deal. Um, uh, evasive tactics gain immunity control effect for five seconds when you are at the target of a root hold the rip, uh, disable or repel effect just like in ground you're going to get immunity for that um, for five seconds can trigger up to uh, can trigger once every 45 seconds really awesome uh, the way they're doing that uh, like ground and space ground and space really awesome um, tier number three when you level that one you're going to get like passive ability so chance for a area of effect shield drain 10% chance for your weapons to cause an area of effect shield drain centered on your primary target can occur once every 10 seconds 10% uh, chance with weapons to target minus 82.5 all shields uh, can trigger once every 10 seconds. Yes, yes, the piezo electric discharge, really awesome as in ability. Uh, the reactive protomatter infusion is going to be the next one. So gain health and shield regeneration on critical hits. Um, being critical hit, uh, you'll gain a large increase to your health and shield regeneration rate for a short amount of time. May occur once every 30 seconds. Um... The lightning, uh, the blue lightning that you guys are seeing is just a, uh, it's just something that happens at Drazana Station. I didn't touch anything. <laughs> anyway, so whenever you are going to be critically hit, you're going to get like a small amount of boost to your health and shield regeneration rate for a short amount of time and can occur every 30 seconds. That is what you're going to get. So plus... 14.3 uh, shield regenera regeneration every one second for 15 seconds and also plus one health regeneration for 15 seconds i don't think that's accurate plus one health i think those numbers are not really uh, up to uh, update uh, they're not really updated yet so um there could be a typo here and there so uh, whenever this thing is going to hit the holodeck i think it was the 26th if memory serves correctly uh, all of these uh, little bugs that you guys are seeing, those are just visual bugs and they're going to be fixed. Um, so tier 4 is going to give you the same thing as uh, in ground, but now just for space. So the PSO electric weapon amplifier uh, chance for an area of effect shield drain. 5% chance of your weapons to cause an area of effect shield drain centered on your primary target can occur once every 10 seconds. Um... 5% chance with weapons to target minus 34.2 uh, old shield facings, obviously. Really awesome. Now, those numbers that you guys are seeing are really low because I am um, being uh, my character's like abilities and like, you know, points in skill and trees and stuff like that are being calculated right now because I'm in ground and I'm not in space. So that's why you guys are seeing a really low amount of numbers. So keep that in mind. Just an FYI. <laughs> Uh, the other one is going to be the automated uh, proto matter conduit, uh, gain hull and shield regeneration when critically hit. Being critically hit will grant you a large increase of your hull sh and shield regeneration rate for a short time. May occur once every 30 seconds, obviously, when critically hit. So that means like when you're going to take a critical hit from the enemy towards your own ship. You will gain plus 21.5 shield regeneration every one second for 15 seconds and plus 100% shield regenera uh, hull regeneration for 15 seconds can trigger once per 30 seconds. Now, like I said, those numbers are off by a long shot, <laughs> but this is basically what it's going to do. It's going to uh, give you a shield and a hull regeneration um, for an X amount of time and that is usually being somewhere in the ballpark of 10 or 15 seconds and like it has a cooldown effect so it cannot be triggered again for for the next 30 seconds really awesome uh, tier 5 tier 5 is really awesome <laughs> um, this is the PSO electric perimeter snare really cool uh, 
uh, name that they have actually given this ability. So it is an area of effect, electrical damage, and damage over time, root and run speed debuff. Oh my god. <laughs> the PSO electric perimeter uh, snare uh, creates a patch of mechanical tendrils at the target which damage the uh, root's foes. Any foes who move into the snare will be slowed. All targets caught in the patch will receive electrical burns will uh, which deals damage over time uh, all damage from the P piezo electric uh, perimeter snare uh, partially ignores shield so target foes create a level 60 bioelectric perimeter snare for 10 seconds uh, that's going to do 130.9 uh, electric damage with 50% shield penetration and also minus 20% damage to electronics I don't really know what they mean by electronics. Uh, that could be like something handheld or I don't know. Um, could be like a tricorder maybe, like for used for healing or some kind of like um, drones that maybe like engineer uses or, or something like that. Like, you know, shield fabrication drone or something like that. Or no, don't really know what I mean by electronics. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll going to find that out when this thing is finally going to come out. Uh, also, it's going to root target minus 66% uh, in run speed. Target will uh, target is affected with electrical burns. <laughs> really awesome. Uh, 36 electrical damage every one second. And also minus 25% uh, damage to electronics. And also... 10% chance to expose the target. Really cool. So those are the reputation that you're going to unlock all of these abilities that you can actively slot in your slots, in your traits. I mean, really awesome for ground and for space. You can basically choose one or the other. You cannot uh, uh, actually choose the same for um for the same uh, for the same buff in the same tier so you basically need to choose one for tier two and one for tier four if you're going to go in space and for ground you need to choose one from tier one and one from tier three so keep that in mind if you're going to be <laughs> choosing your traits on your uh, on your captain <laughs> on your on your character now we do have a couple of um really awesome unique weapons that are going to be unlocked so if you level your reputation all the way to level five you're basically also going to unlock all of these the high density split beam rifle pistols dual pistol void beam etc etc all the way to the blast assault weapons and these i have like different uh, modifications to them different you know damage abilities knockback abilities uh crit h being critical chance crit g crit severity and damage times two so all of these are you know something to your choosing that you can choose from it they, they really don't cost a lot about like seven and a half no not, they cost seven and a half uh, thousand dilithium that's basically a, a day's cap for uh, like you know eight thousand cap that you'd use and um, definitely something to think about uh, if you want to invest in one of these things, uh, they don't cost a lot and they basically are going to do the job. Definitely. Same goes for the torpedoes. Torpedoes have like different uh, modifications to them. So accuracy, control ch of a chance uh, to actually land a critical and also critical severity and increasement of that higher, um, more damage, obviously. So all of these have different awesome abilities uh, bound to them same goes for the beam array dual uh, dual banks cannon dual cannons and dual heavy cannons and also for the turrets you can all uh, you can buy them all up here at the store it's going to give you option uh, it's going to give you access to all of these options uh, that you have right here and basically you just upgrade them all the way to uh, whatever your resources are going to be obviously the higher amount of level that you're going to get your weapons the better it's going to be now for the purposes of this video i did not upgrade them all the way to epic i mean uh, definitely no real uh, benefit to having like these weapons all the way to epic they are as they come in you know from the store right there and 
this is what it is um let's go into the information so bolt assault uh basically all of these um the entire reputation something i did not mention is bound on polaron so the entire lucari uh, um, restoration initiative is going to be based on polaron so that means ground weapons are going to be polaron based space weapons are going to be polaron based and all of the setup mount or uh, the, the the set in space is going to be um from um uh, uh from like an increasement in polar on damage all of the set and abilities and stuff like that really awesome and also one unique console that we're uh, actually let's talk about that because um we kind of covered the entire reputation tree right here so let's go into uh the unique weapons that are going to be a set bonus so the advanced piezo plat um, um sorry the advanced piezo polaron dual cannons have a chance to heal you and nearby allies for a percentage of their hull and shield over time additionally when first activating while cannon rapid fire or surgical strike is active this weapon is triggered uh, triggers a technical overload to the target and deals electrical damage in a area around the target that is increased if the target is electrical Wow, okay, so if the target is electrical, um, don't really know what that means, actually. Uh, triggers a technical, a technical overload on the target that deals electrical damage in an area around the target that is uh, increased in the target is electrical. Okay, don't really know what that means. So it is going to do electrical damage if the target is electrical already. Um, that's weird. Uh, can occur once every 15 seconds. The active piece of dual cannon is not trigger electric overload if it's on cooldown to the advanced polar on beam. Okay, okay. So you have beam equipped that is already triggered electrical overload via either the beam overload or surgical track. Okay, so they actually talking about, right? So both these um, dual cannons and the beam uh, array can actually give that um what is it called let me see again what was it called the uh, technical overload so both of these two can actually trigger the technical overload but if the technical overload is on cooldown because it triggered on the other weapon it's not going to trigger on this one so it's a shared cooldown as it were okay cool cool so uh, let's take care of these beam arrays. Um, let's see, two two seven point nine polar run damage, and that's one hundred and eighty two point three DPS. Two self minus ten weapon power when firing other weapons. Five percent chance to apply the proto matter generation influx to self and nearby allies, and that is what they're talking about um, uh, about healing you and nearby allies. So percentage of their hull and shield and shield over time. So it's basically a dot shield over time and hull regeneration over time. Nice. So there is a five percent chance to actually triggering that, but if you have like multiple of these, obviously the uh, the percentage number is going to increase. Um, so if it's going to trigger, it's going to trigger a plus 191.6 shield regeneration for 10 seconds and it also regenerate 150 of the maximum hold per minute for 10 seconds. Uh, do note per minute for 10 seconds. Cool. Also plus 60% critical severity on these beams. Awesome. Uh, so if you have the entire set as I do right there, so you have the um, uh, cannon beam and the torpedo. You are going to get, with the two pieces, you're going to get plus 15 in photonic projectile damage. The photon projectile damage is basically the torpedo. Plus 15% in increasement in polaron weapon damage. All of these weapons are polaron based, uh, except the torpedo that is photon based. And having the two pairs, uh, the two set piece is going to give you a 15% in polar run damage. Really awesome. And also uh, drain expertise. So it's going to improve the shield drain or resistance to your shield drain or energy drain um, abilities. Really awesome. Uh, the third set, the proto matter infused torpedoes. If your high yield advanced piezo photon torpedoes are shot down before reaching the target, they will spawn a proto matter hazard that will grant allied 
players a hull and shield regeneration boost for flying into it. So basically, like a um, if your if your if your torpedoes are shut down, it's basically going to uh, make like a little bit of a nebula kind of type deal, and it's going to uh, give allied players a hull and shield regeneration boost for flying into it. So plus 15 to hull restor restoration and also plus 15 to shield restoration. Really awesome on these um, these space sets. Uh, so this is the torpedo. Really awesome. It's going to do kinetic damage. Um, so that is 3,081.3 kinetic damage with a DPS of 513.6. 50% chance to enemies within 2.5 kilometers of the target to have their shield hardness reduced by 20% for 10 seconds and also 264.3 all shield facings. Uh, also prevents Zenkethi from creating a warp core hazard when they die for 10 seconds on hit. And this is basically the warp core breach uh, when they're doing that. So when they die, it's going to prevent them from 10 seconds from the initial hit. From leaving behind a, a warp core breach. Really awesome. Also plus 6% 6 in critical chance. So if you want to increase the effectiveness of uh, these um, torpedoes, beams, or the other one, you basically need to give some points in all weapon damage, kinetic weapon damage, and also improve shield drain and resistance to uh, that uh, skill tree. Uh, the two sets and the third set we already covered. The one that we did not cover is the dual cannons. Two targets, 198.3 polar run damage with 264.4 DPS, and that stands for damage per second. You guys know that <laughs> from watching all of my videos. I talk a lot about DPS. Two self, minus 10 weapon power um, when firing other weapons. 5% chance to apply that proto matter regeneration influx to self and nearby allies. We talked about that already so 191.6 shield regeneration for 10 seconds and it's going to regenerate 150 percent of max hole per minute for 10 seconds per minute uh, also 60 percent critical severity really awesome if you guys are um, into polar runs um definitely um you know uh, head over to triple and actually test them out for yourself um, this is the universal console that we are going to get um, from uh, the same reputation. So the piezoelectric infuser universal console utilizes advanced technology to, ge to generate piezoelectric power from the natural vibration of the ship and boost the effectiveness of hazard parts of various parts of your starship. Uh, slotting the console grants the increase to polar damage, turn speed, and maximum shield capacity. Wow, this is definitely something for me. I love polarons. I do love, um, you know, a um, because I fly like carriers. My turn rate is really, uh, you know, my turning speed or you know, turning rate is really low. So that's gonna be awesome for this thing. Uh, maximum shield capacity. Yeah, that could be good. Um, this console slot can be slotted in any engineering, tactical, or science uh, console slot. Really awesome. Plus 30% in polar round damage. Plus 15% in flight turn rate. And also plus 15% in maximum shield capacity. Oh my god, this thing is definitely going to be awesome. Definitely going to be awesome. Definitely, I'm... Well, I'm definitely going to grab this thing as as, as soon as I can. Uh, as soon as this thing is going to hit on the Holodeck server, that is basically the server that we are going to be um, working on or actually playing on. Um, definitely going to grab me myself one of those universal consoles and I definitely recommend you guys doing that if your focus is, is on doing damage uh, by Polaron on your weapons. Now, I do want to say one thing as well. So if you equipped um, the shield, the armor, and also the weapon, you're definitely also going to get a new... Um, uh, what's it called? A new uniform or a new outfit. 
uh, with the new reputation, you're definitely going to get that. And I also asked like a couple of guys of um, uh, friends of mine <laughs> to actually wear the armor. And as you guys can actually see right here, these guys... Um, I actually told them like grab three different costumes so you guys can actually see the color changes to them. I definitely love the um, the um, the outfit, the, the 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 customization of it is really awesome. I just don't like this this dorky looking helmet. Kind of reminds me of the Herogen helmet. Kind of looks like a motorcycle hammer. It's like, what were you thinking? <laughs> Designing this thing. Oh, that was too fast. Right here. So you guys can actually see a little bit more. So um, I used them to do like a color scheme. Blue, uh, red, and like, you know, engineering type yellowish. So we got an engineer up here. We got like a science guy up here. And we got a tactical guy up here. Now everything is customizable that you guys can actually see between these three characters. Uh, including their hands. Because you can opt for having um, no gloves. And they have like their own gloves that you can basically color in to your liking. Uh, and definitely the animation of this like this center part. This center part right here is awesome is definitely awesome kind of reminds me a little bit of like the crystalline entity and like you know in the beginning of the in star trek i don't know if you guys actually know what i mean but it kind of had like this type of uh, outline and it looks really amazing kind of looks like um like a lungs that they have like a big screen up here so they can actually see if you're smoking or you're not smoking <laughs> I definitely love these. Um, and here's the back side. So you guys can actually see that as well. Definitely don't really know what this thing is going to have like a, a purpose or a functionality to it. But definitely loving the new armor. Or the new costume, I should say. Definitely. Everything is customizable, as you guys can actually see. Even these pads that go um, at the back side of where your knees are. Definitely really awesome. Now, one thing that I see that they did actually change. Um, they don't have that that effect going on up here. And that is just that is just awesome. That is just awesome. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask these guys to... Uh, come with me in a PvP map and then um, uh, we can actually showcase the different uh, the different weapons that we're going to um, um, that are going to come with uh, the new reputation if you unlock all of the weapons and there are some really good ones up there so let me just let me just set that up for you guys and I'll be right back. So here we are back now. You guys can actually um, see on the background right there. I have um, queued up a PvP map that is just um, a different map where players can actually fight other players. And this one is called the Assimilated Cruiser. Now there are a couple of decks of this thing. It's just a map where people can actually fly, uh, fight um, other 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 characters other players on the server um doesn't mean anything but it's going to give us the room to actually test out or actually show you guys a little bit of um animation that is going to be uh coming out of this um <laughs> and it is really awesome it's called the lucari piezo electric whist apparatus <laughs> this thing is an apparatus man <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, let's go with the information right here. Now, this is um, unlocked from the Lucari reputation. Obviously, this is like part of the of the set. So you're going to have the shield armor and this uh, weapon. And let me just there you go. Let me just remove that. The sound is just a little bit too much on the background, so I had to lower that. So we're going to fire up a electric bolt. It's a simply electric attack, but it has a chance to arc to nearby enemies, um, becoming sub uh, subsequently more violent in each jump. Electric targets take increased damage from the electric bolt. So to uh, 
target foe 25 meters 0 .7, uh, 0 0.7 second to activate to the target 42.2 electric damage with 60.3 dps uh, plus 25 damage to electronic targets still don't know what that uh, could mean if that's going to be like a shield regeneration or turrets or uh, no idea uh, we'll just have to figure it out as we go uh, 66 chance to change to nearby target for 70 point uh, 50 points uh, 50 point 7 electric damage so whenever it's going to arc to another enemy it's basically going to get a let's do some calculation right here a 8 point something electric damage 8 8.5 electric damage so to the next target it's going to be 59.3 50 yeah 50 50 something 58 point uh, 59 point something uh, also 33 ch uh, percent chance to change to additional time to another nearby target for 90 for 60.9 electric damage wow so it has uh, a 66 percent chance to chain to one target and including on top of that, it has 33% to change to additionally uh, nearby targets. So it can change to up to three times. Really awesome. 5% uh, chance to apply to self the proto matter regeneration influx. So you're going to get a shield regeneration increase by uh, 9.8 and 150% hit point regeneration for 10 seconds. 5% chance to gain 5.5 physical damage every one second for 10 seconds and also 20 percent critical severity if you want to increase the proficiency of this item ground weapons and ground weapons and unarmed attacks the uh, secondary target is going to do electrical damage at a range attack that's going to deal area of effect electrical damage the electrical discharge has a chance to cause to, uh, an enemy's weapons to overheat and to in and, and to be inoperable for a short time so basically a disable electrical targets take increased damage from the electrical discharge and have a chance to malfunction for a short period of time wow awesome i hope the animation is going to be awesome though 30 meter range 3.7 meter sphere 0 0.7 seconds to activate and an eight second recharge or a cooldown time to target 211.1 electrical damage with 24.3 DPS, 25% damage to electronic targets, 25% chance to target hold for 5 seconds. Wow, awesome. Uh, to electronic targets, 5% chance to target disable range weapons for 5 seconds, and also 5% to apply to solve the proto matter regeneration influx. We just read that. Yada, yada, yada. Look, carry whist weapon combo. Now, this is something that, <laughs> that I said in the beginning of the video. By default, in offensive mode, activating the triary weapon to switch the power the uh, weapon's power into support mode so target self toggle the lucari piso electronic west apparatus <laughs> between firing modes <laughs> offensive mode is going to be the default is going to do damage to your enemy and also it has that support mode that is going to do healing to all of your nearby enemies or not <laughs> nearby enemies your nearby friends <laughs> that's gonna be awesome this thing is definitely um going to give us the new form of uh, ground combat with this thing because it also has a healing mode that is just awesome um so the two set pieces is going to give you plus 25 electrical damage and plus 25 in outgoing healing bonus so definitely something for engineers or uh, science uh, captains that are going to do ground, that's going to do healing. Uh, that could be like shield healing or uh, hit point healing. Hmm, don't know. Doesn't say. Also, the third set piece is going to give you the Lucari uh, uh, Proto Energy Master ch uh, chance when taking damage while shields are active to convert 10% of incoming damage for 5 seconds into shield healing. Wow! 
So what is the chance? <laughs> there is one percent chance, or what is it? <laughs> it doesn't say. Chance to increase as shield decrease can occur once every thirty seconds. Awesome for this apparatus. <laughs> also, the shield. Um, let's see. Uh, root resistant, knockback resistant, uh, 309 maximum shield capacity, so 309 hit points, fully regenerative, not taking damage for 3 seconds. Regenerates 28.1 shield capacity every 2 seconds. Um, while taking damage, your shield is below 25%. Your shield generation regenerates a protomatter. Whoa, what is that? Coal. Coal. Sen. What? Coal. Sen. Coal. Sen. Coal. Sen. Sen. I have no idea how to pronounce that. To self an ally within 3 meters, 7 shield regeneration per uh, second for 10 seconds, 50% hit point regeneration per minute for 10 seconds, cannot occur more than once per 45 seconds, reduces all energy damage to shield by 10%, wow, awesome, reduces tetrion damage to shields by 20%, okay, so this thing is based on tetrion, and it's going to uh, have an increment in a, a damage resist for tetrion, so if you're want to utilize these shields to its full potential your enemy need to be utilizing tetrion damage cool um second set and third set we already covered so we're not going to go through there the armor is going to be kinetic damage resist uh 58.2 58.2 all energy damage resist tetrion again 29.1 damage resist radiation uh, health regeneration of 0.46 root resist knockback resist and shield regeneration uh, of 8.4 every one second really awesome to have this thing but it is based on tetrion don't know that there are a lot of uh tetrion uh, or at least enemies that are utilized tetrion now we got these guys up here that we're going to uh, use for target practice now here we go with the primary focusing on this guy whoa whoa that's awesome <laughs> also as you guys are seeing it is chaining off wow look at these It is doing really awesome damage. And it is chaining twice and three times sometimes. As it said on the information, it has a 66% chance to um, go to the second one. And from the second one, it has a 33% chance to uh, chain off the third one. And I just got that 5% chance of electric, uh, what was it called? The protomatter regeneration influx. So I'm going to get an increase in uh, regeneration of my shields and my health. So this thing is definitely good. And as you guys are seeing, it is chaining a lot. Wow. That's three times in a row that it chained. Wow, that's awesome. I do want to say one thing as well. Look at this thing. It's not like a real, um, a real weapon. It's just something that you have on your wrist. As you guys can see right here. It's kind of weird. Uh, I kind of understand now why they call it an apparatus. <laughs> it's really awesome. It's not like a, a physical weapon. And it kind of is like, you know, like a wristband type deal. Can I zoom in more? Yeah, here we go. So, you guys, that is what it is going to look like. Hey, stop moving your arms, would you? <laughs> that is just awesome. This is how it looks like. This is really cool to see. All right, let's do the second firing mode. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, that was just a really big blast. Come on. Let's do it again. Whoa, look at that. It did flank the other ones as well. Wow. Um, unfortunately, it does have a little bit of a long cooldown. Eight seconds. But it does do some really cool animation, and I hope that they are not going to change the animation when it's going to come to the holodeck server, because this thing, I am loving this thing. <laughs> I am absolutely crazy about this thing. It's really awesome. Look at that. Oh, man. 
awesome this ability um now i do want to say that this thing has that uh toggle mode that switch that's going to be offensive or healing <laughs> so let's do that and see hey we're gonna get new icons okay so this is just a placeholder for the icons when it's going to go live i think we're going to get some different icons up here because uh, this is just like um uh, live long and prosper uh, icon i don't think that's going to be it but anyway let's see if we can damage them by healing ourselves can we actually okay we can actually damage this guy by healing ourselves uh that doesn't really compute with me how do we do damage by healing ourselves definitely love the animation though look at that it's going to do an area of effect animation right here awesome And you're basically healing your entire team if your team is like within what is this like seven meters ten meters or something like that oh that is just awesome okay so that is the the primary that we are actually firing on these guys and we are healing each uh, or at least not each other we are healing any or um enemies we are healing uh allies that are within a certain amount of distance and as you guys can actually see, my character is turning uh, greenish. Uh, I hope she's not going to turn into She-Hulk any moment soon. <laughs> but my character from the uh, epicenter, right from the, 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 the part where I'm standing in the vicinity, is going to heal out all of the uh, allies that are going to be within the vicinity of me, obviously. Now, this is the primary and here we go with the secondary in three two one okay then did do anything good what is that it has a really how much okay eight second cooldown i think this is just like a, a higher amount of healing obviously really cool because it does has um a longer cooldown on this thing but I did not expect uh, for uh, this thing to heal, actually, uh, to deal damage while it is healing. Now, it is taking away a little bit of their uh, shields, of the enemy shields, so it is doing damage. And also, it is healing ourselves as well. As you guys can actually see, I have... Uh, five ticks of the proto matter electric regeneration so my health is going to regenerate in a faster pace also my shield is going to go in a faster pace and obviously for my teammates as well if they are going to be in the vicinity of these circle uh, i think it was seven meters or something like that let me just look real quick where does it say oh it is within four meters Apply a stack of proto electrical regeneration to allies within four meters. Okay, so you really you need to be really close to your to your allies to actually use this thing to heal. Wow, <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. And this is definitely wow, loving it, loving this thing. It is chaining off all three of them. Wow, that is just awesome. That is just crazy. Loving this thing. Whoa, don't turn around. Don't turn around. Why are you turning your back to your enemies? Don't you know combat? <laughs> okay. Um, let's use the um, Polar Blast Assault. Well, this is how it looks like. Really cool as a weapon. Now, unfortunately, I cannot go like you know lower with my camera this is what it is i hope you guys can actually see here it is when it's on the back of your characters and this is how she's going to hold this thing really cool and let's see if we can target her primary this is as fast as she can actually fire this thing because i'm smashing my primary button up here really cool and let's use the secondary on this guy boom so i exposed the two other characters wow that's awesome that is awesome 
um, now this thing has like a um, an increasement in critical severity so you know um, definitely going to land a uh, critical uh, faster because it has plus 40 uh, but let's go with the other one and that is going to be uh, the pulse wave assault and the pulse wave of salt weapon looks like this thing right here and then when it's on your back it's going to be like that that is cool definitely love the pulsating animation right there that you guys can actually see all of these polaron based color don't know what it what it's going to be inside that is going to activate this thing it's really cool really cool to see Okay, let's fire on that. Primary. Now, it is a pulse wave. Obviously, it's kind of like a shotgun. So you guys can actually see that. That is just awesome. Okay, and here we go with the secondary firing mode. Three, two, one. Boom! <laughs> Knocked that guy all the way out. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> That's cool. All right, that is that. Um, which one was this? The full auto rifle. This is how it looks like when it's on your back. Pulsating, just like the other one. Let's use the primary. Cool. Full auto attack. All right, let's use the secondary in three, two, one. Cool, awesome. Whoa, it's shaking. <laughs> it's shaking in my hand. What is that all about? <laughs> let's use it on this guy. Okay, now it did not shake violently, but it did expose this guy. That's awesome. Full auto rifle. Uh, which one is this? Dual pistols. That is also awesome to see. Dual pistols right on my hips or the character's hips. Really cool to see. Let's see if they're taken out. Wow. Freeze. Where are you going? <laughs> Let's use it on this guy. So this is the primary firing mode. Really cool. And secondary mode in three, two, one. It did expose this guy. Really awesome. Nice. Real nice. Dual pistols. I don't even know if anybody still uses dual pistols, but if you guys do, it's going to be awesome. Compression pistols. Next one in line is just one of them as you guys can actually see oh let me just remove the hood so you guys can see it a little bit better on my hip right here and let's take it out come on take it out there you go and let's use the primary on her really cool how about on her and let's use the secondary on this guy what that that little bit that was the secondary okay compression pistols hmm okay all right <laughs> no comment <laughs> uh, here we go what is this this is the white beam pistol and let's start off with her first. So it is on my hip. It's basically the same thing as the other one. Here we go. Primary. Nice. 
And here we go with the secondary in three, two, one. Boom. Like that. I love that secondary. It's kind of like blinding your enemy with, with Polaron damage. <laughs> awesome. Let's see. The next one is going to be the Sun Pistols. If we can swap them around. I kind of need to wait for um, out of combat. So I don't I can't actually be in combat when I'm going to um, to fire these things. So this is the primary. Primary on her as well. And here we go with the secondary in three, two, one. So it's like a focused blast, I guess. Cool. Here we go again. These compression. Uh, what was it? Compression pistols? No, it was a stun pistol. Right. Next one up in the line is going to be the high density beam rifle. That is. To some people, actually use this thing and they actually love this thing. So here it is on the back. Real cool, real cool to see this thing. And right there. Primary firing. And here we go, the secondary in three, two, one. Boom! Straight through the character's body. <laughs> nice. Uh, next one in line, the sniper rifle. Sniper rifle is something that a lot of you guys actually use to uh, vaporize the enemy. So that's it's going to be awesome. So here's the primary really high firing rate. And the secondary is going to be like that. Boom. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> That is just awesome. That is just... I definitely love the animation of the sniper rifle. You cannot actually... Um, so, whenever you're going to commit on the uh, secondary firing mode, uh, there is no chance of your enemy to escape. So, <laughs> that is definitely awesome. Here we go. The primary... And let's use the secondary on this guy in three, two, one. Okay, so didn't really love the animation of this thing. Auto target being. Hmm. So definitely something to think about if you guys are going to use these new weapons from the reputation. I just showcased every um, animation that they, that they do. Um, one thing that I did not um, showcase to you is that the reputation also comes equipped with um, a grenade for tactical uh, for tactical uh, captains, and it's called the piso electric grenade. So it is an area of effect electrical damage and electrical damage over time chance to uh, chance for hold. So target foe. Um, let me just remove that so you guys can actually read a little bit without distraction. So, foe, 111.3 kinetic damage with 50% uh, shield penetration damage reduced from the epicenter uh, to the foe. 80 electrical damage every one second for five seconds with 50% shield penetration damage reduces from the epicenter. Obviously, 25% damage to electronics. Also, uh, to foe, 50% chance to target for 5 seconds. Chance is doubled versus electronics. Still don't know what they mean um, by electronics. Uh, that could be devices, maybe. Or uh, something that you can spawn in, like turrets or drones or anything like that. Um, so, here we go. Let's use it on... Yeah, let's use it on her. Three, two, one, grenade inbound. Boom. 
It does have a really high um, cooldown time. I think it was 20, 24 second. So you can actually fire this thing again towards your uh, towards your enemy right there. Now each and every one of them have like different uh, different um, different items. I think the the engineering version has like a drone, and this thing has like a uh, another drone for healing or something like that. But we're going to see that. Here we go. Grab that. Boom. So it's doing damage and also damage over time with electrical uh, electrical damage. That is just awesome. Now. I do want to grab. Um, I do want to grab this thing, uh, the the engineering and the science characters to actually showcase what they have. So uh, let me just uh, be right back. So here we go with the engineering. The engineering have they have a a proto matter uh, re uh, generator drone. It's going to create a level 65 protomatter generator drone for 120 seconds or 2 minutes. Allies uh, within the drone effective radius with receive plus 32.7 hit points for seconds, uh, per second and also 18.6 um, shield regeneration per second. So uh, these are the um, engineering version. So she's doing something, and that is just a generator. Okay. Okay, cool. And the science version has like an area of effect electrical dot, uh, root and chains for weapon malfunction. Um, target of uh, target foe, five, uh, five maximum, and uh, foe is going to get 31 electric damage per second for 10 seconds with 50% shield penetration, plus 25 in damage to electronics, also to the foe root target for 8.3 seconds, and also 33% chance to weapon malfunction for 3.5, 3.4 seconds, and double duration versus the uh, the electronics, and also 10% chance exposed target for 8 seconds, so here we go with that. So it's basically a, a root version, so I couldn't actually move there, really awesome to see this thing in action. It did root me because I saw that there was a lock on my knees and also on my legs. So I couldn't move. Really cool to see all of those animation. And the grenade you guys already saw from me firing the grenade like that. Boom. So these guys are doing electrical damage and are being hold, held. Um, really awesome. Really excited to see all of these uh, things in in action. Now I am going to also display all of these in a PvP match in in space. So let me just transition to that, and I'll be right back. So welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As you guys see, I am using <laughs> the. The new, or at least not the new one, the Breen version, uh, the Breen ship that we just got. And something is different, right? Something is different on this thing. What could it be? What could it be? <laughs> we do have a new um, visuals right here on the shield. And you guys can actually see it is awesome. These, these like engine wake right here, it kind of reminds me of like like a, f a river flow it kind of flowing like that like on the backside really cool animation right there from the deflector dish and in about a couple of seconds it's going to pulsate just like that all oh, that is just awesome that is just awesome and i definitely in love with the new uh, layout that they're actually bringing out with the new visuals that they're actually doing right there all oh, that's just awesome it pulsates it pulsates and it is good. It is good. I love it. I love it. And in all honesty, it um, was about time for some new visuals. Man, we were doing so many um, like visual reviews on Starship and um, 
We were in need for some new ones. Now, I kind of need to see where my friends are. Here we go. Here they are. And hold on. So, uh, first thing that I'm going to showcase is um, the space set, the three pieces, and also the the um, the universal console is already been equipped. So, what we're going to do is we're going to fire up the dual weapon cannon, and, and that is this thing. So, here we go. Now, I was actually hoping that this thing would fire Polaron based color. Um, that pink color that Polaron usually fires. But this thing is firing some... Uh, maybe that's a bug. Maybe that's the way it should be. But this thing is firing some kind of um, greenish color goo <laughs> at the enemy. And that is awesome. And also the beam, beam is just, okay, same color, green, basically. Awesome. All right. And here we go with the normal torpedo, also greenish goo. Kind of reminds me of plasma, but just a tad, not the right color, I guess. Kind of is just a little bit off. Boom, boom. All right, let's um, let's remove the space set. Or you know what? Um, if you guys are interested in seeing that, I'm going to do a torpedo spread and a high yield on these guys. So here we go. Um, torpedo spread. Now, it is not a really high one. So here we go. Torpedo spread. Whoa! Whoa, that was awesome. We're going to do that again. Um, let's get some distance because I saw a really big animation right there. A really big, huge ball of fire. <laughs> and let's get back. All right, here we go. In range, please. Come on, come on. Here we go. And we are about 8.5 kilometers away from the enemy. Torpedo spread again in 3, 2, 1. Boom. Wow. That is cool. Look at that. What are they having? That piezoelectric shield flux. So their shield regeneration is going to be drastically removed. And they're still having to deal with... Some whole issues, <laughs> really awesome. All right, uh, high yield, three, two, one. Now this is that destructible torpedo. When it's going to impact, wow, wow, that was awesome. Entropic Rider, awesome. Also that shield flux and it's eating away all of their hull. So it's kind of is like plasma basically. Damage over time abilities. That is awesome. <laughs> These guys shields are almost gone. Wow. Here we go again. Lucari heavy photon torpedo. Inbound and wow. Nice. Okay, that is this is something to hmm, to think about, in all honesty. Oh man, um, I kind of want to see what uh, do I have? Beam fired will that's good, but do I have beam overload? Maybe somewhere? No, I just have beam overload. Okay, we can use beam overload. Where's beam overload? Right here. Okay, let's use beam overload on these guys with the beam right here three two one so it's firing multiple targets at multiple uh multiple shots that's awesome beam overload or uh, not beam overload fire it will it's usually a common uh ability when uh, when piloting in in space to be honest lots of people are using these things wow awesome um, I don't have any dual heavy, dual heavy abilities. 
we're going to see why did it change okay okay you have dual um, right uh, rapid fire rapid fire I need this guy so I have rapid fire and scattered volley cool uh, where are they rapid fire and scattered volley okay cool uh, let's do rapid fire three two one wow cool and let's do we don't want to kill them let's do cannon rapid fire on this guy okay it did chain off of the other guy crippling fire is just a uh, trait that I have it's not part of the reputation awesome definitely definitely something to think about guys if you're going to go with polaron damage um, the other ones uh, these are just from the reputation itself so we're going to do uh, turrets now these are okay these are pinkish in colors cool so this is the turrets just the normal colors of polaron that's awesome uh, beam banks and I kind of need to be facing these guys front if we want to use beam banks all right beam banks cool nice um, a beam array it's going to be next one. This is awesome. Definitely love these new stuff that they're actually bringing out. Like them. Nice. Cool to see this thing go in action. Beams. Uh, what is this? These are dual cannons. All right, you know what? I'm just going to equip all of them because I don't want to wait. <laughs> here we go. Uh, the first one was dual cannons. This one right here. All right. All right. I can live with that. Basically, dual cannons are all over the place. The same thing. Um, what is this? This is the Polaron cannon. So just the normal cannons. If there is such a thing. <laughs> And these are the dual heavy. Let's try the dual heavies. Wow, awesome. And the torpedo that is photon based. We are cool to see this thing in action. Come on, come on, let me go. Nice. Nice. Definitely love the new reputation, guys. Something to look forward to. Definitely love the new visuals right here. Um, something that I didn't cover is the statistics of these things. So let's do that right now. Lukai Restoration in Initiative Deflector Rays are designed to enhance ships' ability to be combat-ready support vessels. They vastly increase the hull and shield restoration capabilities of ships and, additional, and additionally provide resistance to radiation damage and enemy drain effects while increasing output drain effectiveness. Wow. Wow. Okay. This is awesome. So radiation damage resist, you know, something the Borg usually does. They give you like radiation sickness to your hull hit points <laughs> so damage resist to that definitely awesome if you're going to do um uh, if you're going to have the boar gives your enemy uh starship hull restoration so it's going to improve the whole healing of your ship 43.8 starship uh, shield restoration so shield healing definitely something to uh to keep in mind, uh, Starship 
drain expertise so improve the energy and shield drain and resistance to it as well now these uh, just the top of my head and i'm not doing a lot of math right now this is definitely something if you're going to utilize um the enemy of the borg as an enemy uh, radiation uh, damage resist to shield drains and uh, shield healing and hull healing definitely something to think about for a deflector dish uh, the two set bonus is going to give you plus 10 recharge time reduction on hull and shield healing bridge officer abilities really cool if you're going to utilize a support uh, role in your team set uh, piece three is going to super uh, going to supercharge your shield emitters plus 20 starship drain expertise it's going to improve your energy and shield drain and also resistance to the same if you want to have a more effectiveness uh, on this thing um definitely something to to think about um resisting to shield drain the borg usually drains your shield with you know with like that beam and using utilizing the three set bonus from this thing is going to have an increasement in resisting to that beam really awesome uh, fourth set is the enhanced point jump um, reduces recharge to 120 seconds so that's two minutes um, falls within five kilometers minus 19.69 percent uh, shield hardness for 10 seconds and to self gain temporary hit points for 10 seconds skill that affect this ability drain expertise the enhanced point to jump is going to be the fourth set piece of this thing. Um, really cool to see the impulse, kinetic damage resist, uh, flight speed and flight turn rate. Definitely awesome in um, an increasement in flight turn rate, cruisers, carriers, those kind of stuff. Uh, kinetic damage resists not really a big issue flight speed not really a big issue uh, reactive engine technologies really cool to see this thing as a um, as your passive abilities will taking more than 20 percent of maximum hold within five seconds 200 percent flight speed for six seconds 200 percent flight turn rate for six seconds and also regenerate two percent of maximum hold per second for six seconds and can occur only once per 60 seconds um the full impulse really awesome oh uh, the warp the warp core the Lucari Restoration Initi Initiative Warp Core are designed to overcharge auxiliary and shield power levels, increasing the ship maximum, increasing the ship's maximum and current auxiliary and shield power. The warp cores also give bonuses shield power based on your current auxiliary power level increase to shield defense and regeneration strength of ships. This warp core is additionally equipped with a point jump technology which allows you to move to a point in front of a friend to heal them or in front of an enemy to attack. <laughs> really awesome. Um, 2.5 additional power setting, 2.5 auxiliary power plus 5 maximum uh, shield power plus 5 maximum auxiliary power, uh, maximum warp Factor 10 and 7.5% of your auxiliary power to your shield power as a bonus power plus 35 starship hull restoration is going to improve the hull healing and 2.5 slipstreams um, speed bonus while traveling in sector space. So that's the point to jump instantly move you about four kilometers in front of your selected targets and increase your strength rating for a, du a shorter duration. Target anything alive except yourself. Does that include pets as well? Hmm. Okay. 10 kilometer range, 4 minute cooldown. So teleport approximately 4 kilometers in front of your target. Um, plus 4,755 stealth for 2 seconds. Root for 1 second. 800. Uh, no, 8,212.5 temporary hit points for 10 seconds only applies with the four set bonus and to enemies within five kilometers 19.7 uh, minus 19.7 percent shield hardness for 10 seconds only applies with a four uh, piece set bonus two minute recharge 
with the four uh, piece set bonus really awesome and all of them we just covered the only one that we didn't cover is the shields so 509 uh, no 5913 hit points uh, 222.4 shield regeneration every 6 seconds all energy damage to shield by 10% and uh, tetrion damage to shield by 20% um, as we already saw in ground as well tetrion based uh, damage resistance on this um, on this reputation on this lucari um, restoration initiative space sets um, applies regenerative shield overflow to self and allies within five kilometer once every six seconds 238.2 shield regeneration range modifies by supercharge by supercharged shield emitters awesome let's see did it was there something i did not cover this i covered the computers i covered the space set i covered the entire space set i covered um this i already covered the all unique items that is going to be unlocked in the store i already covered one thing that i did not say is i am definitely looking forward um when this thing is going to be uh coming alive in uh, in the holonex server so definitely something to uh to look forward to and let's try this uh jump point jump oh okay that i did not know so it's going to give out a blast of um just like that high yield torpedoes that we just saw uh, when coming out of the uh, subspace jump wow okay we're gonna do that again in two minutes uh that is just awesome so um something to note you are definitely going to jump in front of your enemy and it doesn't really matter where you're going to be i can be like to the size like i am right now and i'm going to jump in front of my enemy but usually when i'm going to jump in front of my enemy they usually have a really high amount of shielding on their uh, on their front uh, what you actually need to be is at the back because you're going to get that flanking bonus as well but this thing um doesn't only apply to enemies this thing also applies to your f uh, to your friends to your allies so definitely awesome if you're going to have a support role and you're seeing like somebody is about to die and you have like a whole healing or a shield healing ability that is like uh, not on cooldown you can basically jump about four kilometers in front of your ally or your teammate or whatever you can you want to call it and um you know do a support role uh, that is that is awesome this is definitely going to bring out some new tactics among us and i'm definitely talking about among uh like people that are still are enjoying sto uh with the way it is going because i'm seeing lots of comments and lots of people are not really excited about the new season 12 that is going to come out in a couple of days but i'm not one of them i'm definitely loving that uh, everything that STO is has to offer with the new season. Here, anyway, enough talking about that. Let's go with the point jump. Three, two, one. Boom. And it definitely dealt point jump distortion for 10 seconds, I guess. Awesome. Oh man, this is awesome. Guys, thank you so much for sticking around with me and I hope to see you on the next video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little bit of entertainment coming out of this channel. See you on the next one. And for now, I'm going to say take care. Later.